Hey gamers, welcome back. Rick here with Game Trade Media coming to you live from the show floor here at PAX Unplugged. I've got Jake, who is here hey from USAopoly yes. to talk about a game that a lot of people are super hyped about just be, just because of the, the, the name of it yeah. and the movie that it is based off of. Yeah, so tell, tell us about it. We are so excited to be able to uh, release the thing, Infection Outpost 31. Um, it is a hidden identity social deduction game, so essentially you are playing the movie out on tabletop. Um, so you either start as a human or an imitation, you're going through the outpost, trying to find all the items you need and defeat all the things before the imitations uh, kind of infiltrate and sabotage the missions and the time runs out. Okay. Um, so very fun 4 to 8 player game, um, 17 plus, kind of a little adult-ish yeah. content just sure. because of the nature of the, the film. Right. Um, but we are very excited about this one and we've been demoing it and getting a great response. So okay. so to show it up. So if they're here at PAX Unplugged, if they're watching this and they haven't yet gotten down to the showroom floor or haven't come to your buyer booth, what yeah. booth number are you guys so at? We're at 1025 okay. and we'll be running uh, two tables of demos. They take about like 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Um, give you a quick run through of the game. Right. Well, let's see what it looks like inside. Yeah, here. sure thing. So we got the boxes never open. All right, so we got a few different things. We got a little game tracker here. Nice set of rules. Nice hefty rule set. There is a quick, quick guide just in case. Put that off the side. Break open a nice board. So we work with Mondo. Um, if anyone is familiar with Mondo, they are an art house, art house out of uh, Austin, Texas. So we worked with them. They did all the art for this game. Um, and USAopoly or Project Raygun, who's the publisher. Um, did the game mechanics. So let's pull out this little tracker here. Okay. Um, so in this game, you get, all we're doing is we're trying to complete missions um, by using different supply cards. Um, I'll show off some of these. Wow, they're all sabotage cards. So if you wanna open up some minis, get some minis out there. Um, so it is based on the movie. So you have different characters like McCready, Childs, um, different iconic Here's characters. Right there, there's McCready. We got McCready right here. We got his little mini. Let's find his little mini. That's great. His little mini here right. to accompany with oh, McCready yeah. there. Looks so good. Got the flamethrower and everything. Very cool. So let me just set this up. So how the game starts is you deal out these uh, blood sample cards. So you can either be an imitation or a human. Um, imitations are trying to gain the trust of the humans um, to be able to go on missions um, and become trustworthy because if they uh, get brought on and kind of get to sabotage uh, missions throughout the game, they can end up throwing the game and actually winning. So. There's just a lot of stuff in this There's game, a lot so of I supplies. apologize. Well, that's all good. We like to see all the you things. You get lots of things in this game. I just, I just wish it was like glued on. You could just see it all. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna grab a few more. All right, so what we're gonna be doing uh, in this game is there's gonna be a group of people that are stuck in the outpost. Um, this goes on a little tracker there. And we are trying to complete missions. So these missions uh, tell you how many players you're gonna need to go through and different items that you're gonna need to turn in. Okay. Um, so we have these supply cards that have different dice values, different weapons, different items that you'll find in the outpost. So you're gonna be turning in supply cards um, to try to complete missions. So if we go into a room, let's say all four of us go into this room here. Which is important. It is important. We need to go into the rooms to find the different items. So we're gonna need to defeat a thing, find some rope, find some dynamite, uh, defeat some things. So, are we good? We sound? Yeah, we're good, okay. we're good. Um, so like in this one, it's a five player mission. Okay. Um, so we would need five of us to go on this mission okay. and we need to reveal a knife and a gun. All right, let me show pass. that to the, to the camera right there. There you guys go. So this is what we're looking for on this mission. All right. So on this mission, we'd all get a hand of cards. Uh, we would turn in a card. So if you were trustworthy and you were a human right. um, and you had a knife, let's say, you would turn in a knife to me. If I can find a knife. Let's just say yes. this is a knife. 
Okay. Let's say it's a knife. It's a knife. All I'm right. Gonna, but it's not. <laughs> I hate. You. So you you can be lying. So anyway, right. you're gonna turn in cards. As a captain, I get to look at all the cards, see if there were any people lying or not. Um, if I can reveal and pass the mission, we pass the mission. Um, let's just say for the sake. Then you reveal the tile. If it's a thing, you have to battle it immediately. Okay. So you're going to need to turn in uh, these cards. They have different dice values. So that allows us to roll a certain number of dice. Um, and for the thing one, we need to roll, we get three rolls to roll a three of a kind. Okay. So they all have a different level of difficulty, sure. but you're going to need to be rolling dice to defeat uh, the different creatures that pop up. Okay. So we now, have the win condition on this game, let's say we've gotten out there and we've gone through all those things and we now are needing to get on that chopper. Yeah. How do so, we win? if we've cleared all the out, uh, cleared all the different sectors, found the different items we need um, to be able to escape in time, um, then that kicks in the escape phase. So, as a group, we all vote for a final captain. That captain will uh, choose his team. You only get four spots on the helicopter, so okay. some people will be left behind, especially in like an eight-person game. Right. You're going to leave four people behind. Um, so you vote for a captain. That captain gets to choose who gets to go on the helicopter. If there's only humans on the helicopter, humans win. Right. But if one imitation uh, makes its way on the helicopter, then the imitations win, and they go spread the disease to the rest of humanity. I love it. So... Um, as you're playing the game, you get you know it's a lot of table talk. You got to banter back and forth about you know you did you gave me this card uh, in this one situation, and um, you know I don't trust you as much. Right. You know you're a little red in the face. You look a little sketchy over there. Sure. So I'm not going to bring you on some missions or you know uh, if you have a bad bluffing you know face, right. then you're going to you're going to give it away uh, okay. really quick. You can really cause a lot of paranoia in your players. As yeah. You play this game. Yeah, it's great for friends. Um, you know, we play a lot of games, right. but we've been playing with a bunch of strangers. Right. And as you go through the game and you make the reveal, everybody starts yelling. You know, very, very excited um, nice. to see who is human, who's an imitation, right. and um, it's just kind of your way to play through the game. I love it. Now, what else is uh, so? This right here is uh, the thing infection at Outpost 31. You brought something else with you, though. I did. Let's talk a little bit about that real All quick. All right. Um, on the other side of the universe, you know, these two products would never uh, be with each other. But we have Disney code names, as you can see here. So our first licensed edition of code names, uh, we work with Check Games to partner, or Check Games and Disney to partner to do uh, Disney code names. So we take a look at the back. Uh, we have different uh, characters, items, locations from the Disney universe. Um, so what's neat about this game, other than that you're playing Disney, is that there's pictures on one side and words on another. So you can play all pictures, all words, or a combination of the two. Um, great for any Disney fan, and it's kind of a gateway game to get uh, people introduced to code names who are fans of Disney, but no clue what the heck code names are. Um, so we're demoing Disney and Marvel over at booth 1025, and both games are an absolute hit for any fan yeah, of uh, this Disney is, These are fun games, and the fact that you're able to uh, put the license of Disney on it, and also Marvel, uh, yeah. like you mentioned, uh, which you're kind of messing with Thanos in that a little bit, right? As like, he, he, yeah, he, so he Thanos is like the assassin. Yeah. Um, so he comes so, in and uh, he, can, he cool. can beat everybody. So a lot of fun uh, games at USAopoly. So I would uh, recommend following us on social media at USAopoly and checking out all the uh, great games we have coming out this year and uh, for many years yeah, to many come. many years to come. Next year, I'm sure, is going to be just as great as 2017 has been for you guys. Let's hope so. All right. So, as I will say, and I've said already, thank you to Carolina Game Tables for letting us use your amazing streamer table, as you are seeing here in front of us today. It's a beautiful table, and uh, if you are a streamer and are looking to upgrade, check them out at uh, their Facebook page at Carolina Game Tables and carolinagametables.com. Also, we have a little prize that we're doing where we're giving away a big old prize pack Ooh, of games. look at that. And all you have to do is stop by our booth here at Booth 203 or go on our Facebook page and check out uh, the link that we've uh, posted up there and you can find out how to enter to win this huge prize package. And there's already been some additions put into this from uh, some of the vendors here this weekend. So it's going to be even bigger. We'll announce the winner on the 20th. So on awesome. that note, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for having us. We love having you here. Now, for all of you out there, go play some games. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs>
Don't forget to subscribe to Game Trade Media. Leave a like and comment on what videos you'd like to see next.